I want to do a simple video on how to use the ADC on the PIC 18F47Q10 um, to uh, read a value from a potentiometer. And then um, the second part is just to output that value onto an LED. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start and make a new project here for the PIC 18F47Q10. And I'll call it ADC test. It's, as you can see, it's a, an empty project. And I'm going to go ahead and start by opening MCC on the project. And I'll save the configuration file to its default location. I'll change the oscillator on the device to the high frequency internal oscillator. And then I'll go ahead and add the EU SART 2 module um, to allow for USB communication. I'm also going to remap these pins to RD0 and 1. And I'll redirect the STDIO to USART. I'll also uncheck analog in the pin module. And I should be good to receive USB communications. I'll just hit generate and I'll open the pre-generated main.c file. I like to remove all the comments from my code and I'm just going to see if I can start by just getting it to just just print some simple uh, text right just to the USB. So I'll do EU start to initialize and then I'll just do printf hello. As you can see, the device is printing hello into uh, into putty, so um, we're ready to continue to try and read a value, and then we're going to try and just print that value into putty. So we're just building up, I like to talk about building up layers of abstraction in terms of getting your code to do the simplest things first. So first we can print USB, now I want to read from the ADC. So I'm going to come back to um, MCC, and I am going to add my ADC module. Um, it's up here, ADCC. And all of this, um, this, uh, these settings are, are fine by default. The, uh, most notably, the positive reference is GDD and the negative reference is VSS or ground. Um, I'm going to go up to the pin manager, grid view, and uh, this ANX uh, input is what we're going to uh, lock to our potential potentiometer input. Um, so as you can see, um, the potentiometer is wired right here to the input RC5. It's RC5. Once that's configured, I'll just go ahead and hit generate. And I'm going to come back to my main.c and I'm going to start by initializing my ADCC component. Um, you can see all of the, um, the information in this MCC generated files for, uh, in this header files folder. Um, notably, I'm going to look at this uh, ADCC.h folder or this ADC.c.h file. Um, and this contains all of the functions that are pre-written for, uh, for me by MCC. Um, the one I'm going to use is this get single conversion. So as you can see, it takes one argument, and that is the channel. Um, so I'm going to use this ADCC get single conversion in order to, uh, to get a conversion, and then I'm going to print it to the USB. So I'm going to say int, uh, it's just going to be an integer is what I'm going to read. Um, I'm going to call it val equals ADCC get single conversion. And um, remember, it took a channel, um, and that channel is the name of the pin as defined by MCC. Um, so it called it channel underscore ANC5. Um, you can rename it if you want, but uh, I'm just going to use the default one. Um, and so this is just going to get a single conversion on that channel, store it into the val variable, and then I want to print that variable to the USB. I'm going to use percent D as my placeholder for an integer. And once I should, I should be good here, I'm just going to program it and see if those changes are reflected. So as you can see here, it is printing, um, it is printing the value. And as I twist the potentiometer, you can see that that value is changing. Um, so, so far we're good. Um, the last part is I just want to configure this LED um, to change brightness based on the value we're receiving on the potentiometer. So I'm going to come back to um, my code here. Uh, back into MCC, and I'm going to add some things. The, the, what, the tool I want to use to change the brightness on the LED is a PWM. And because of where the LED is connected, um, you can see I have it connected here to RC4. Um, uh, because of that, I'm going to uh, use PWM4. Um, the only difference uh, between the two is, uh, is which pins you're allowed to map it to. Um, so for this RC4, I'm going to use um, PWM4. So PWM4 to RC4. Um, Another thing that's good to check is this MCC notifications here, um, and it gives you some information. Um, this one says you got to configure timer two for the PWM module, and that says it's uh, in the PWM module. It says it's going to use timer two, um, so we have to go over here and add timer two. Um, 
go back to check the notifications and it's going to give us one more, gave us some more stuff here, but we really only have to be concerned with warnings. Um, so this warning here is that we have to configure timer two to offer, operate on FOSC over four. Um, so this clock source will change this to FOSC over four. And then um, you can enter any timer period, really. I just like to enter just like something simple, like one millisecond, just as long as it's faster than your eye can see. Um, uh, let's see, I think that is it. There's no more warnings. Um, we've got our PDM unlocked to RC4. So I'll just hit generate and come back to the main.c. Then we can go, to, go ahead and initialize PWM4. And then every time this while loop uh, gets this value, um, afterwards I'm just going to use uh, PWM4. There's some functions defined by this PWM4.h library. Um, that is written by MCC, I'm going to use this load duty value function. And I'll use the val variable. Um, once that's good, I'll go ahead and program the device and we'll see if it works. And open putty uh, and see if, the, uh, see if the, the potentiometer readings are still there. Um, so once we twist the potentiometer, we can see that the um, brightness of the LED changes and the ADC reading on PuTTY also changes.